Australia is home to an array of shorebirds. Some doing well, and others not so well. The hooded plover is in decline. In New South Wales and Victoria, it's down to around 5,000. And here on the Flurio Peninsula, it's down to around 70. Um, last breeding season, uh, which is August to March, uh, on the Flurio Peninsula in South Australia, we had 12 chicks fledge out of a total of 22 chicks that hatched. Um, and we've got 22 breeding pairs on the coast. Generally, hooded plovers are paired up for life if they're successful, but recent banding uh, results have shown that um, if the pair is really unsuccessful, they may divorce and go separate ways. It's about the size of a 50 cent coin and has to grow to the size of an adult within 35 days. And it has to feed itself from day one too. So it's a lot of feeding to actually get to that adult age and size and then at 35 days or five weeks that's when it learns to fly. Hooded plovers uh, nest on the beach itself like sometimes on the foredream but generally on the beach itself so you can imagine they'll be faced by a number of challenges in that case and their breeding season coincides with the busiest time on the beaches which is spring and summer so they're up against a whole range of threats. People can accidentally crush the nest because it's so well camouflaged, they can actually step on it or they could sunbathe next to it. Unleashed dogs are a big problem because um, their random movement on the beach causes hooded plovers to come off the nest or to send their chicks into hiding more regularly. Well, there's been a lot of conservation effort put into the hooded plovers, particularly on the Flurio Peninsula. Um, the, the fences uh, mark the area out and literally prevent people from accidentally crushing the nest underfoot and then on the signs we ask people to leash their dogs in the area. We also put out chick shelters which are little A-frame wooden shelters that provide um, shelter from the elements and, and from predators for chicks. Um, we, we want the hooded plover population to be secure but at, in, at the same time it's actually beneficial to have a, a species listed because it means that it gets um, extra protection and funding.